Hey guys, welcome to my five month bump date. Uh, we found out the gender of the baby this month, so stay tuned to find out if we're having a boy or a girl. I am 21 weeks right now, which makes me about five months pregnant. Um, apparently baby right now is about the size of a burrito. I can definitely feel the baby in there now. Lately baby has started uh, hearing things a little bit. I'm not sure if I can directly relate any movement to anything audible, but I feel like that might be the case. Baby has been practicing swallowing and breathing lately and apparently recently grew eyebrows. Myself at this point, I have gained 7.6 pounds since I started this pregnancy journey. I feel like I still have plenty of room to grow. Um, I had a, a slow start as I mentioned last time. Um, I actually lost weight during my first trimester, so every time I'm gaining, it's a good, it's a good sign for me. Cravings, um, I think chocolate actually lately, um, and generally cold things, but that can also be attributed to the fact that the weather is warming up. So chocolate ice cream has sounded really good to me lately. Um, also just ice water. I also got my hands on some Heineken Zero, and that stuff is actually really good. I wouldn't normally say I was like a Heineken fan, <clears throat> normally a craft brew girl all the way, but if you're looking for something that tastes like a Pilsner, but has no alcohol, <laughs> Heineken is your answer. <laughs> I'm still having some SPD or pelvic girdle pain. Um, it kind of comes and goes in intensity. If I sleep on it well, then it's not as bad the next day. Um, but it's it's hard to get comfortable at night because of that. It's hard to get comfortable when moving, um, you know, like from sitting to standing because of that. But it's something that I'm just kind of dealing with. I'm starting to feel really big lately. <laughs> I never felt this big this early. I knew that I would look bigger earlier because it's my second pregnancy, but I didn't think that I would feel so big so soon. For comparison, here's a photo of me when I was 20 weeks with my last pregnancy, coincidentally wearing the same shirt as today. And here I am today at around the same gestational age, and I think you can tell the difference. I've been feeling a lot more movement lately, and so has my husband. He was able to feel the baby kick a couple times this week. I actually found out that I have an anterior placenta, which means the placenta is in the front of my uterus, which is one of the reasons why I haven't been feeling as much movement because anything that's moving towards the front of me has this extra cushion. So uh, it's been a sort of a delay that I was not enjoying, uh, waiting for baby movement to start to become more of a day-to-day, -day, everyday reality for me. But it, uh, every day seems to be getting just a little bit stronger and a little bit more frequent, which is exciting. I mentioned we had our anatomy scan and we found out we're having another little girl. Uh, we are all super excited. We were kind of secretly hoping that we might have another girl because we love our daughter so much and think that it would be really great for her to have a sister. And, you know, we kind of know how to raise a girl right now. So we're really excited to give her a little sister uh, in September. My concerns and goals for the coming month. All my concerns are related to COVID, really. Um, I found out that uh, labor and delivery triage is patient only at the hospital. And I guess that makes sense, but it's not something that I was thinking of. Um, they're still allowing a, a visitor or a support person for labor and delivery, um, but that person has to stay there. So they recommend packing enough food for the stay as well as clothes and things. Um, and they're not allowed in triage. So you go in, if you're feeling any sort of movement at this point, they gave me the labor and delivery number, uh, not movement, but anything that seems amiss, seems off. They say to call labor and delivery directly instead of just going through the general nurse line. And they said that at this point, I would be going in by myself and my husband would wait in the car and if I got del uh, admitted, then he would be allowed in. Uh, it's just sort of another way that this whole pandemic is making pregnancy a little bit scarier than it should be. My anatomy scan was actually in the hospital building. Um, I think that that would not be the entrance used for COVID patients, but still there was a whole screening process on the way in. It felt very TSA. On the bright side, check-in was a breeze. There was like nobody in line, um, but it was just really surreal to be inside a hospital during a pandemic and everybody's wearing masks, of course. And um, it's been 
in a while since that appointment, so I didn't catch anything when I was there that I know of. Um, it was just really weird, and I, I felt like, what if I'm the silent carrier who's going to infect all these people in this hospital? Um, you just it makes you really paranoid, I think. And so it's a good thing that um, most of my appointments are going to be switched to telehealth visits at this point. I've had two so far, um, just you know, phone calls with the doctor and they took my weight over the phone and just sort of discussed what's coming up and what the concerns and things to look out for are and stuff like that. Um, I, they have ordered a blood pressure cuff for me, so I'm going to pick that up and start monitoring my blood pressure weekly as well as my weight so I can keep track of that. Um, they said they don't usually monitor gestational diabetes symptoms until the third trimester now. When I was pregnant with my first, they were having me pee in a cup at every single visit the whole time through. Um, and so that was just normal. But this time I noticed they weren't doing that. She said that, yeah, they're not testing for protein in the urine early on unless you have an elevated BP. So I don't think I have any of those risk factors, um, but I do need to start monitoring my blood pressure now as I'm going to move into the later, you know, half and third of my pregnancy. So I'm going to learn how to do that. But my next appointment actually is going to be an in-visit appointment um, at 27 weeks that may be before or after the next video. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Um, and that one is going to be my glucose challenge, so I have to go in in person. I also get my Tdap booster at that time as well. Um, if you weren't aware, it's pretty standard to give pregnant women um, a Tdap sometime around 30-ish weeks, I think. Um, and basically, that passes on some of that immunity to the baby. So even though I've had a Tdap like two years ago when I was pregnant last, um, and so I'm not due for one for another 10 years, um, but they give it to me now and then I pass on some of that immunity through the placenta and that way it's a little bit of an extra layer of protection before the baby starts to get their first shots at two months old. And also, if you've never done it before, the glucose challenge is where they test you if you have gestational diabetes. Um, and the way it works generally is you have the one hour test that like everybody has to take. You drink this whole flat Gatorade bottle and then an hour later they draw your blood and they test um, just the glucose in your blood to see if you have enough insulin in your system. And I don't really know how diabetes works, but that's what they're testing for is gestational diabetes. If you don't pass the one hour test, you have to take a three hour test. I passed the one hour test last time. I have no expectations of failing at this time, um, but that's that's what you have to do. It's not super fun to drink a nasty sugary drink and sit around in a waiting room for an hour. So I'm gonna bring my knitting project and try not to think about all the people around me who are probably not sick, right? Just like I'm probably not sick. <laughs> But all of the COVID rambling aside, today was a pretty short video, I think. Thank you for joining me for another bump date. Uh, there's a playlist of all of those if you want to check out how my pregnancy has progressed so far. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one next month. But in the meantime, do subscribe because there's more videos coming out all the time, twice a week. Next Sunday's video is going to be a video about my baby registry um, and my wish list for my second pregnancy. Things that I think are essential that I'm going to need to stock up on, things that I didn't get to try with my first pregnancy that I'm interested in trying with my second baby. So check that out next week and I will see you then. Thanks for watching. See you later.